It is episode two of The Daily Dozen. That's Jason Jewell. I'm Jared Cohn. We normally bring you the Rock and Refuel Recruiting Roundup, and now we are spotlighting the players to watch coming into the 2016 season in alphabetical order. Jason, lead us off. I'm going to head down to Yuma and look at one of the most under-recruited players in the state in Daniel Callender, defensive end from Yuma Catholic. Six foot six, over 200 pounds, double-digit sack guy last year, uh, awesome player uh, in basketball as well. No Division One offers yet, which is very surprising because this kid has exactly what you're looking for in a college-level defensive end. I've gotten, I've drawn the uh, the, la the large straw, and I'm getting all the long snappers here. I got Adam Bay in the first episode. Now I'm going to roll with James Carroll in the long, long snapper out at Boulder. Creek. He is committed to Bowling Green, a very talented young man. And how about all these long snappers, Jason? You know, a lot of states are lucky if they get maybe one kid to get recruited at the long snapping position. Arizona has multiple, and Carolyn is one of them for the 2017 class. I'm going to get to two players in a row. The first one I'm going to start off with is Dalton Cash, the tight end at Pinnacle High School. Now, these tight end kids, they're very hard to find. It's, it's tough when you find a kid that's six foot four, 225 pounds, is willing to put his hand down in the ground and block, and there's Versal enough to catch passes, and that's exactly what Cash is. He's a, a do it all, true Y tight end that has an offer early from the University of Idaho. The next guy I want to get to is over at Saguaro High School. We've talked about some of these guys uh, already on the previous shows, but K Brant Casey, we got all these Division I guys at, at Saguaro High School, and Casey is definitely one of them. He is the leader of that defense, uh, has an offer from Northern Arizona, just a tough middle linebacker at yeah. Saguaro. Yeah, and they rely on him heavily. Great leadership right there. I'll keep the Scottsdale angle and move over to Chaparral. We're going to have a couple freshmen, a couple incoming freshmen on this list that we think are going to make an impact. This is the first one. Tommy Christakos, wide receiver, incoming freshman at Chaparral. Watched him train this summer. This kid has footwork and technique, speed and size that really just can't be taught uh, for someone that's this young. I think he's going to make an impact right away and it'll be Grayson Berry. He's one of maybe his main targets coming into the season for the Firebirds. Plus, this guy is already kicking 50-yard field goals. So he's going to be competing at the kicker spot as well. And since you went two in a row, I'll get to go two in a row also. Staying in Scottsdale, another Saguaro kid, Jake Christofferson. Could not hear enough about this guy over the summer during passing league. Transferred over to Saguaro. He's going to be one of the new quarterback Mac. Max Massengale's main targets, say that five times fast, but Christofferson had a monster summer, very talented kid, will play also at the defensive back position, another one of the incredibly talented young men over for the Sabercats. And head over to Mountain Point High School. We know that Norris Vaughn loves to play tough defense over there, and Kenny Churchwell, one of their defensive backs, only going to be a junior, very talented player. The name sounds familiar. He's had two older blood brothers that were very good players at Mountain Point, going to be the third, the next in line, and this guy's going to be a division one player, mark my words, big, long kid, tough, physical, could play some safety, could maybe play some corner, guy that the Mountain Point coaches are very high of, and I am as well. I know we feel like we've been talking about Malik Clark over at Moon Valley for years, and he's only going to be a junior. That's because he's been a starter on the defensive line since he was a freshman. He is a, a very, very uh, talented, strong young man in the trenches for Moon Valley and a very key piece for them going forward this season. Yeah, staying in the trenches over at Chandler High School. I want to talk about their left tackle, Harold Colbert, guy. Fantastic feet, about six foot three, 260 pounds. When you watch his tape, his feet is just tremendous in his pass protection. Does not have a Division One offer yet. I think this guy has the ability. Very well coached by their offensive line, Chris Chick. They've had a, a couple of Division One offensive linemen over at Chandler High School in the years past. Colbert could be the next. Vista Grande was one of the best stories of the high school season last year. A, a small team, hadn't had a ton of success going into last year but made the playoffs and a large reason because it was the play of their then junior now soon to be senior Skylar Collins this guy is an athletic freak 6'4 245 defensive end tight end also makes plays on special teams really like the athleticism that he and his team will possess once again this season I stay in my wheelhouse of the offensive line Creston Coolidge Valley Vista another left tackle a kid six foot five he was 300 pounds as a junior he shed he's down to 250 pounds and he looks the part. He has an early offer from New Mexico State as well as some uh, Ivy League offers. A 4.0 student. We've talked about it. Big kids, good grades, you get recruited. And speaking of great kids at the quarterback position, they get recruited as well. Chase Cord. We're going to talk about the Sunrise Mountain Star, another guy who we feel has been around forever. It's finally his senior season, but what a junior season it was. Looking at it, 3,000 yards passing, 1,000 yards rushing, over 50 touchdowns, and how about this fun fact? An average 
uh, punt average of 40.6 yards per punt. Boise State commit coming off a knee injury this summer, but we expect big things out of Chase once again in 2016. That's it for Episode 2 of the 2016 Daily Dozen.